Yo, what is going on guys? Jakey here. Today, I'm going to be going over my Valorant warm-up and aim training routine because one of the most common questions that I get asked in my streams and in the comments of my frag videos is what my what is my aim training routine? So uh, yeah, let's get right into it. I'm going to go over it. The first part of this video is going to go over my in-game training routine. And then the second part is going to be uh, external stuff like aim labs. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. So starting off, before I play, usually I just stretch out my hands. Um, I'm going to leave a screenshot on the screen right now of some basic stretches that I do. And stretching out your hands is good just because it improves your blood flow, um, which will make your hands warm up faster. But it's also good because it reduces the chances of you getting carpal tunnel. So um, I would recommend to everyone to stretch your hands and your wrists before you play um, just to practice, you know, being uh, healthy and safe with your wrists. So after I finish stretching, the first thing I do uh, in my aim training routine is I do uh, the range so we just want to hop in the range here and inside of the range you can use any agent because we're not going to be using any abilities um, and the first thing I start with is you want to press F3 and you want to choose the eliminate 100 streak so I start with the 100 streak here and you just press start and you basically just eliminate 100 of these bots and you want to do it as fast as you can while still being accurate. So that's the first thing I do. And if if your aim's not that good, you can start off slow. Like you don't have to go super fast. But you just want to make sure that you're being accurate with it. You can do bursts. You can do uh, one taps. It's really up to you. But this basically just uh, helps me warm up at the very beginning of my session. And then after the 100 bots, I just go into the free range practice. So you just hit this bottom one and it will spawn in a bunch of bots. And then I just practice spraying and just flicking to each bot. Um, this again, just helps me warm up my hands. So something like this, you know, I burst some of the bots and then I will spray down other bots. So I just do this for a little bit here. There's really no specific time or amount. But after I feel comfortable doing that, uh, the final thing that I will do in the range is I will do hard bots. If hard bots are too fast for you, you can also do medium or easy depending on your skill level. So you just do hard bots and I do hard bots maybe two or three times. So yeah, I basically do hard bots uh, two or three times or basically just until I'm satisfied with the results. And then after the range, I will hop into a deathmatch. And also some days when I'm feeling lazy, um, I will skip the range entirely if I'm like hopping on and I want to play just one game really fast or um, I have somebody I'm doing with that's like rushing me. Uh, sometimes I'll just skip the range entirely as a warm up and I'll just hop straight into a deathmatch. So deathmatch is pretty important. Um, the range I think helps you warm up your mechanics a lot, like your aim. But I think the deathmatch is really important for warming up your crosshair placement as well as your counter strafes and your movement. So I definitely recommend uh, incorporating deathmatch in there somewhere into your warm-up routine uh, or your aim training routine just because it helps a lot with crosshair placement as well as practicing your movement like your counter strafes. So I'll play usually just one deathmatch, but if I'm feeling not that warm, I will play maybe two or three deathmatches depending on how I'm feeling. And usually I just deathmatch with the Vandal. Um, but sometimes I also like to switch it up and deathmatch with the Sheriff or the Guardian for a couple kills. You can also use the Phantom as well. Obviously, it's up to you how you want to play your deathmatch. Uh, for me, I mostly use the Vandal and then I also use the Guardian sometimes if I just want to practice one tapping. But most of the time, I'm on the Vandal. Yeah, so the whole point of the deathmatch is just to get yourself warm and comfortable with counter strafing and crosshair placement, just to warm all of that up. So don't be too focused on winning the deathmatch, just really hop in there. Um, I really just hop in there just to warm up. So yeah, don't be too focused on your kills. Usually you just want to turn on some music and listen to some music while you play your deathmatch and then turn your sound down a little bit. You don't have to like try super hard and listen to sounds or anything. You're just there to pretty much warm up. Alright guys, moving on to my aim lab routine. I honestly don't use aim labs that often and I really don't think it's necessary to improving your aim. Um, I think just by playing Valorant and deathmatching, you can improve your aim 
just the same as using aim labs but um, i just play aim labs every now and then for fun especially if i'm in a super long queue i will boot up aim labs and just play just for fun because obviously you can't use the range when you're queued up so i just play it every now and then for fun i don't really take it too seriously but nevertheless here is my aim lab routine in case you guys want to know so there's really only um four tasks that i do i do one for tracking i do strafe track precision and then i do spider shot precision micro shot precision and grid shot precision so i do all four of these in precision mode um and yeah so let me just run you guys through it and show you guys what it's like oh also let me show you guys how to set it so that your settings are the same as valorant so you want to go into options here crosshair you can obviously use whatever but the most important thing is you go down to controls and then you set the game profile here to Valorant and that will basically match your Valorant sensitivity. Um, obviously you want to do this or else there's really no point. Um, and then you go down to sensitivity and you obviously just want to match this to your Valorant sensitivity. Um, everything else you can just leave default honestly. So that's pretty much it. And then so the first one here is strafe track and this basically just helps you practice your, your tracking. You just hover over the orb and you just track it so that's basically it for the first one that i do and then the second one that i do is spider shot precision and i really try to basically just be accurate when i'm doing these like speed is not my priority when i do um aim labs i basically just go for accuracy so i just want to make sure that i'm hitting these and speed is kind of like not as important for me so you can see with this one, like the circles get smaller as you hit them. Which I prefer over like the ultimate mode. I just like the precision ones where you have to be accurate. So that's what I do for that one. And then the third one I do is micro shot. Which is sort of similar to the last one, except this one is like closer together. There's less movement, but still, this one's pretty good for micro flicks in my opinion. Practicing your micro adjustment. And again, I just try to be as accurate as possible, not really thinking about speed. Because in my opinion, I think your speed goes up as you get better. So the number one thing you want to focus on is being accurate, and then your speed kind of just follows along behind it as you improve. That's micro shot. And then the last one that I do is grid shot, the precision version. I know a lot of people do grid shot ultimate, which I don't really think helps that much. But with grid shot precision, the circles actually get smaller. So you kind of have to slow down as you, as you do this, because the circles will get smaller and you kind of have to focus more to hit them, which is kind of fun. So. Again, I only do aim labs really for fun. Um, I think the number one way to improve your aim if you're really serious about it is just play the game and learn crosshair placement and play your death matches and your aim will improve naturally. But aim labs, aim labs probably helps a little bit, but it's really not necessary if you don't, if you really don't want to do aim labs. So yeah, that's great shot right there. And that's pretty much all of the routines that I do. Those are the only four routines that I do, and I don't really play aim labs that often, but there's my aim labs routine. And that's pretty much it, guys. That was the video. Um, that is my warm up and aim training routine for Valorant. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you guys learned something and it helps you out. If you did, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.